Hey Pokey peeps, we're back again with that Slowbro team, so let's see what we got. Alright, so as you can see, we've got a pretty standard rain team on the other end. Not too many things I'm scared of. Uh, the only thing that could cause a bit of trouble for me is the Metagross, really. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. Everything else I'm pretty comfortable with. Okay, so I'm going to lead with my Grimmsnarl and Slowbro, and he's going to lead with his Rotom and Amoongus. Now, I'm pretty confident that the Amoongus is going to go for a Rage Powder, so I'm just going to Dynamax, go for a Swagger, and a Max Mindstorm onto the Rotom. Uh, the reason I did this is just in case the Rotom decided to... Oh, sorry, the Amoongus didn't go for the um, Rage Powder, I would have taken out the uh, Rotom. The Rotom goes for a Nasty Plot and then Dynamaxes as I go for a Swagger onto our Slowbro. He attacks down the Grimmsnarl, which was a little bit unusual, and then scolds my Slowbro. Go for a Max Geyser onto the Rotom, taking that out, and I'm in pretty good position now. He then goes into his Kingdra as I go for a Max Mindstorm and a Spirit Break. Uh, thankfully we do hit through the Protect, or at least 25% of that damage, doing a ton. He then goes for a Scald and obliterates us, and then goes for another Scald with the Politoed taking us out as well. And then go into my Venusaur and my Torkoal, and we're in a good position because we've won that Weather War already. So I go for a Giga Drain, taking out the Kingdra and then a Solar Beam doing a ton of damage to the Politoed, and he goes for an Ice Beam there. Does about half to the Venusaur, but I'm not too stressed, and he quits. I mean, that was a pretty fun game, pretty easy. Uh, I definitely needed to prioritize the Rotom, however, I wasn't too stressed, and whenever there's an Amoongus on the field, you have to sort of play as if it's not going to do what you think it's going to do. So never attack down the Amoongus assuming that it's going to be using the Rage Powder or Tokus using Follow Me or anything like that. Always attack down the Pokemon that you think. However, my only advice would be if you are attacking something and the other Pokemon has a weakness or an immunity to it, don't go for that move. Go for something that's guaranteed to hit both Pokemon, just in case. If you're positive, 100% positive, and you can go for a super effective move that's going to do a ton of damage to either Pokemon, go for that. Now, the reason I went for the Swagger as well was for just in case he didn't. I would have been doing a ton of extra damage, and there was a good chance that he would have been going for a Spore onto the Grimmsnarl. He definitely had a little bit more priority on that, so again, not too worried. Uh, we probably would have come away with a win either way. Uh, I think we played it quite well. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy this video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, bye!